This section heading is called Executing a Synac Attack Using HPing3. So we learned in the previous section that our stateless firewall was allowing bogus communications to pass through it and reach the web server. What we're going to do in this section here is we're going to build off of that. We're going to demonstrate how if we amplify those communications using a DOS attack, we're going to demonstrate kind of like the devastating consequences of that over here. Now the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start up some packet capturing software and we're going to analyze some numbers. So as it stands right now, Alice currently has an SSH session established with the edge router over here. So from or through that SSH session, we're just going to bounce over here to the web server with another one. So that will be the first step that we'll do. Okay, so here we're on the edge router. We can tell that by this host name over here. So let me clear this out a little bit. Let me type sudo clear. Okay. So now we'll SSH over to the web server to support at yourbank.com. And now we'll start up that packet capture using TCP dump. So TCP dump dash N to disable DNS lookups. And then we're going to apply a filter for SNAC packets. And we're going to redirect all successful matches that match that filter into a file called TCP. All right, so now that that's started up, let's execute the attack. So I'm going to close this station. I'm going to go over to our attacker station over here. So HPing3 by default will send SYN packets. And what we want to do is we want to alter that to SYNAC. So we're going to type HPing3 and it's dash SA for SYNAC. We want to send these packets as fast as possible. We want them to come from a random source. We want to go to the destination port of 80 and the destination host and we're going to provide an IP address here because the DNS server actually resides on the other side of the stateless firewall so we can't communicate with it right now. So we're going to let this run for about 30 to 45 seconds or so. Okay, so that's roughly 20, 30 seconds or so. Issue a control C. So over here's the number of packets that was actually sent. So now if we close this up, we're gonna go over to Alice's end station and we're gonna analyze some numbers. So over here we have our capture that's being that's running right now. So we're just gonna issue a control C to stop it. And then here's those numbers. So this first number, the second line down. This is the number of packets that were actually received by the filter. So your TCP dump packet capturing software, it contains a buffer size. And then within that buffer, if it can't successfully process the packets fast enough, then what it does is it actually drops them. The ones that it could process and figured out that it was a match for the filter are redirected into the file and we can see that right here. So this is the packets captured. The one that's actually significant is this one down here. So these are the packets that were received by the interface, but because the interface was essentially too busy, it denied service to them. So we denied service to 244 packets. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look and verify that our filter is actually capturing what we put, you know, what, uh, what the filter was designed for, for just SYNAC packets. So we're going to do a tail-20, and it's going to be for the file TCP. So we're viewing the last 20 lines of the file TCP. And inside of here, we can see that we're coming from a random source. So we've got the sockets being shown here, IP port combinations. And then we've got the destination socket, which is our web server. And then we can see that each one of these has a is a SYNAC packet. So our filter is working as expected. Now, what we're doing with this here, um, 
what I want you to understand is that these communications should never have been allowed to reach this web server in the first place. And that's what the that's where the state full firewall is going to come into place.